Hello Visaya, this is Herman. During the last couple of weeks, I have been wondering about time and how time has gone so fast since we started our website. I'm somewhere around Berlin, next to one of the most famous public clocks in the world, the Mengelauer Ur. If you want to know how it works, go to our Instagram account. I will post the answer there. In any case, all this reminiscing made me think about the future and what kind of crazy adventures we will have. It would be really nice to know what will happen in the future. This way, I could have taken a different investment. You could find who will be taking the Iron Throne. Or I could have avoided the consequences of that dodgy foot stand from yesterday. Unfortunately, premonition or predicting the future is something reserved for TV scams and science fiction. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Actually, there are some fields that have worked for years in order to predict the future. You can see how in science they use mathematical models and simulations in order to predict natural disasters, the weather forecast, and according to Google, what will be Apple launching next year? It seems it's the only thing internet cares about. But it's not only science. Finance and sports also use models to predict the performance of stocks, cryptocurrencies, and the right hand of Roger Federer. Even if I believe that there's no model that could explain how he's able to play as well as he does today. And again, I will be really happy to be able to predict the future. Since we're shooting this episode today, on the 14th of July, and in just a couple of hours, he will be playing the Wimbledon semi-final, and I would really like to know if I jinx it, or if he will be claiming the eighth title there. Talking about Wimbledon, Wimbledon is the oldest of the tennis grand slams, dating 1877. In London, in this period, England was an economical power, thanks to the invention of the steam engine and the first industrial revolution. I don't think the people of that time will have been able to predict what's happening today, 140 years later. Today, we're entering the fourth industrial revolution, in which the digital and industrial worlds are coming together, opening new opportunities for factories and plants. A world in which data is king. Which data? Well, all the data collected by hundreds of hundreds of sensors you already have installed in your plants. These sensors are connected between each other or to different hosting systems, like traditional PLCs and SCADA systems, or to newer solutions like cloud storage or custom apps. This network of sensors, or things, is known as the Internet of Things, or IoT. And since we are in the industrial world, we are talking about the Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT. The benefits of this technology are immense, and talking about all of them in one video will be impossible. But one thing is true, this technology will shape the future of the industry and of ourselves. It may actually give us the ability to predict the future. Since the beginning of time, or the beginning of engineers, we have devoted our time and effort to one thing, avoid failure. We design, maintain and repair the things we build and manufacture so that they don't fail. In the 70s, the airline industry and the US Navy created these curves to try to explain how assets fail. That has worked, but maintenance cycles are expensive and it's not a very efficient process. The concept of smart devices and diagnostics has been around for 10 years but only 23% of the data produced by these devices is actually used. Well, but this is changing now with IoT platforms like MindSphere or Predix. These platforms organize and process this data so that it becomes knowledge. Knowledge then used by engineers to predict when an asset or component may fail, so that predictive maintenance is done in the most efficient way, avoiding failures, reducing or avoiding downtime, and increasing efficiency. So now that my plan is working properly, I can go and watch this most thrilling tennis match. Like always, thank you for watching. See you next week.